All right, you're back with Master Beekeeper Jason Miller in the Honey Series. We're, I'm standing outside of our building in Gackle, North Dakota. And today we're going to go inside. I'll walk you through each step of the extraction process and how we take the honey from the box all the way through to barreling it and shipping it out of our warehouse. So the room I'm standing in right now is, is we're going to do this fast because it's about 105 degrees in here. This is our hot room. The honey comes in from the field on those trucks and we bring it through this door on a, on a forklift and stack it in this hot room. And generally we like the honey to be in here three to four days so that it gets all that heat penetrates. We have floor heat, we have air heat, and this room's constantly kept between 100 and 105 degrees. That's gonna heat that honey and allow it to flow out real nicely from the, from the frames. Um, we have a boiler in here that makes steam and uh, for some of the equipment that we'll see. You know, we try not to bring any bees in from the field as we talked about earlier, but some do get in, so we'll open that, that window up occasionally and, and let them fly out. We've got some hives here for them to um, gather to, but uh, we'll try to minimize the amount of bees that we bring in, of course, from the field. Once the honey's hot, it exits through this door over here, uh, out of the hot room and into the extraction room. So we'll jump over to the extraction room and I'll show you what's going on on that side. Okay, so now we're on the other side of the hot room in the extraction facility. Here comes a pallet of honey from the hot room. Pallet of supers. Um, we have three lines here, so each one of them is on one of these lazy Susans to make it real easy to pull the boxes off um, and, and get them over to the uncapped. So let's come over to the uncapper and I'll show you what's happening at this first machine in the, in the set. All right, so here we are at the uncapper. He brings over a box of honey. This hydraulic ram is gonna push the frames out of the box. And then this uncapping machine is gonna cut the wax cappings off of the frames. So you'll see, as these frames start to drop down, there is an, there's an electric knife down there. It has steam running through it to heat it up. And as before they go through, you've got a wax covering that the bees have covered over each one of those cells as they filled it with honey. And this uncapper is cutting that off. It doesn't do a perfect job, so we have to do a little bit of it manually, but it gets most of it. So this, this is the first step necessary in opening up those cells so that the extractor can spin the honey out. If the frames went into the uncapper or into the extractor without uncapping, none of the honey would come out because they've got that thin layer of wax that's protecting it and sealing it inside of the frame. So that's the purpose of this first machine. All right, so here's the extractor. And what he's doing right now is loading. These are the frames that have come through the uncapper. They're dripping honey. If, if you look down here, you can see that they've been uncapped and they're dripping honey down. So he's loading them into the extractor. One up here. The dry ones, he's gonna open up the gates here. And that will allow him to push the empty frames out and load it with wet frames or frames that need to have the honey spun out. These hydraulic rams do the work of pushing in and out, so there go the dry ones out the back. Now we've got a sweet set of wet frames. Now that the machine is fully loaded. Okay, so we just finished loading the last set into the machine. And now to start up the, make sure all the gates are closed, start up the motor, and close the big hatch here and those will begin spinning the honey out where it'll drain down through these tubes into the floor and over to the pit. We're gonna spin these for 12 minutes. We kind of base that depending on how much moisture there is, how warm the honey is, how nicely it's flowing out, but about 12 minutes is gonna be enough time to spin the honey out of the frames and get, the, get them so they're pretty dry. On the back side, you can see here the dry frames have now come out the back and we're reboxing them for them to go back out into the field and back onto the beehives. Okay. All right, now you might notice that our employees in here are all Hispanic. They are here on an H-2A work visa from Mexico and I'd be happy to talk a little bit about that. I'll explain it in another video, 
what we do for labor, um, how we get our workers, and how this H2A visa program works for us to legally bring over help from other countries to help out where we can't find domestic employees. All right, so out of the extractor, all three of those extractors drain their honey down into a big tube under the concrete, and it comes out right here. So this is the, all three of those extractors together running out and into what we call the pit. We're standing down in the pit. As you can see, there's a lot of wax, there's a lot of honey, there's some wood, some dead bees, all of it mixed together at this point. This Moino pump right here is pumping the, this mixture, this honey soup, if you will, up, up, up to above us and through these long tubes right up above us. That's the heat exchanger. And what it's doing is it's reheating that honey. As I mentioned, when it came out of the hot room, it was about 100 to 105 degrees. By the time it went through all that machinery, ran through the floor, came down here to this pit and got pumped up, it's back down to 85, 90 degrees, and we need to get it back up for the next process that we're gonna look at. Okay, now that the honey's out of the extractor, into the pit, through the heat exchanger, I'm gonna show you guys how we separate the honey from the wax. So up here on top of this structure, we have our two wax honey separators. These are look kind of like a large washing machine. The way it works is it flings the honey and the wax out to the walls and there's a basket spinning inside. The wax builds up, the basket has holes all throughout it. Again, picture the inside of a washing machine. The wax will spin out to the edge and stick there and the honey will slowly filter through. As that wax builds up on the edge, when it gets to a certain depth, there's a knife in there. And the knife cuts the wax and causes it to drop out the bottom. Here you can see, I'll just open it up a little bit. You can see the drum spinning and it's flinging the honey out as it spins. That honey runs down into this little uh, tank on both of them, which then come over to another Moino pump and up through these tubes, across the ceiling, and over where we see them draining into those tanks on the other side of the room. The last step in the process is what we call tapping off the honey. That's filling the barrel. As you can see, we've got a dark honey today. This is buckwheat honey. We separate that honey out because it has a strong, pungent smell and flavor. And so the bottlers want it separate so they can blend it in and mix it because it is so dark. But this is the honey after it's been, uh, after it's gone through the entire process, the wax has been filtered out and you can see it's pretty much pure honey. At the bottling facility, it's gonna go through one more step of purification and then it'll be ready for the supermarket. Now the honey leaves our extraction facility in barrels like we just saw. Uh, we put a tag on here, it indicates this is barrel number 584 for the year, um, the lot being the date. This is the color grade, so this is 25, um, 30, so the darker it is, the higher the number. The stuff we're running today is in the 60s, um, and we have some that's as, as light as a 4 or 5, it almost looks like water. Um, once it goes to the honey packer, they're going to blend those different colors, so that in the grocery store you have um, a, a consistent color and flavor note uh, by blending those different floral varieties of honeys together uh, for the, the look and the flavor that, that they're going for in the supermarket. Each one of these barrels weighs about 650 pounds. So you're looking at 650 pounds of honey uh, in each one of these. We load them onto semi trucks with this little electric forklift that can hold two barrels at a time. We load them onto semi trucks and ship them to the honey packing plant. Our honey goes to both Pennsylvania as well as Salt Lake City. Those are the two packers we, we pack under uh, the Miller Honey Company name in Salt Lake City and the Dutch Gold name over in Pennsylvania. All right, so now we're to the final step in the process. We're loading a semi truck with 70 barrels of honey, about 80,000 pounds truck and honey. Um, to make a 1,500 mile journey out to Dutch Gold in Pennsylvania, where the honey will then go through another filtration process and get packed into a retail sale at the grocery store level, as well as for wholesale into bakeries, restaurants, and other facilities. All right, so that wraps up our honey series, all the way from the flower in the field 
to the honey leaving our facility on the truck headed for the packing plant. I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of the inside look of how your honey, where it comes from, and gives you a greater appreciation for all the effort and work that goes in on both the bees part and the employees part to bring this healthy, delicious product to your table.